Hello, my name is Vincent Brady, and I'm from Charlotte, Michigan, just south of Lansing, about right there on the Michigan Mitten. I'm a photographer here at the Porcupine Mountains. I'm spending two weeks as an artist in residence, capturing various night sky phenomena, looking for the stars and the Milky Way, and as I'm here now, it just happens to be a great time because Comet Neowise is in the sky. Yeah, this is a new piece of equipment I picked up just shortly before coming here. Um, I've been doing all sorts of night sky photography for about 10 years now, and this is kind of the start of a new endeavor. This is a star adventurer. What it does is compensates for the Earth's rotation and stays guided along the track of the stars. Okay. And so what we do is point it to the north. We look for the north star and then it has a, it has a tilt on it to set your latitude that you're at. And so we're at about 46 and a half here and then you can fine tune it and get the northern star just right. And then you just turn it on and we can attach our camera to it. And this allows us to do much more detailed sky shots rather than trying to do short exposures, we can do much longer exposures and capture more color and detail in the sky. This camera itself is astro modified and so most cameras, the DSLRs, there's a filter placed over the sensor that captures visible light so it matches pretty closely as to what we see. We can see better in the dark for sure, but with uh, full spectrum astro modification, what happens is that filter gets taken out and it's replaced with just a clear piece of glass. And so it captures infrared light and more ultraviolet, ultraviolet light and the uh, hydrogen alpha, which a lot of space nebulas um, put out. This is a photo of Comet Neowise out uh, above a lightning storm on Lake Superior. Uh, you see lots of stars in the sky here. The comet was pretty low at the horizon at this hour. It was about three in the morning and there was lightning storms in the distance rolling through over the lake and uh, there was a great view from the Porcupine Mountains at Union Bay, looking straight out in the water. I love the view here, because, especially because there's almost no lights on the Canadian side of the water, so you get a real unobstructed view of the northern horizon. This is a photo of the Milky Way over Lake of the Clouds in the Porcupine Mountains. The Lake of the Clouds is one of the most popular attractions here and there's several viewpoints. This one is about halfway along the Escarpment Trail looking to the southwest where the Milky Way is above the lake in the early morning. I used my Star Adventurer Sky Watcher to track the Milky Way and was been trying really hard to get a nice 
photo on a calm night with the stars reflecting on on the lake. I've actually been up here several times shooting and I've gotten uh, quite the collection of photos over Lake of the Clouds. <laughs> My very first camera, I actually remember it. I was, I was in second grade and I saved up enough Kool-Aid points to send them in for this little pink camera. So, and I would, I would take, I took pictures in the woods around my, our house in Illinois. Yeah, that's, it's been sweet love ever since. <laughs> Dan's cabin has been absolutely amazing. It's just so, it's perfectly built. It, every, everything in there is set up to where it's just so easy and it's make everything, just make the design of it is just, is perfect. And it's also located in such a beautiful spot along the Union trails, um, and the, even though it's got a little waterfall in his backyard, and it's, it's amazing. And being able to be here for an extended amount of time, I think I'm here for 17 days total, and just being able to, you know, have a, nice place to be and then to refresh and get back out it's been it's been incredible everyone here has just been very kind and generous from meeting sherry in the at the visitor center and her showing me the cabin um, to all the park rangers who've been very knowledgeable about the park, and there's I you out on these trails and you see it's like oh, there's there's a lot of effort being put in to maintain the just the the beautiful solitude wilderness 